Hi guys, Ben here back with probably my first transfer update in a very long time since the summer really, since that August transfer window slammed shut um, and it's bad news tonight, it's Emre Chan and it's Dominic King from the Mail reporting that the German is now almost certain to leave Liverpool for a free next summer and I'm sure you're all going to be absolutely furious about this and I, of course I am as well, I mean it's the highest profile uh, Bosman that we've probably seen since McManaman um, and it's, it's unlikely Liverpool to let a guy of such high quality, high calibre, high value leave on a free transfer. I mean I remember another recent one was obviously the Michael Owen case where he let it run down to the point where he had one year left and we had to sell him for £8 million to Real Madrid, uh, obviously again much lower than his value. It, it, it's a rare case of Liverpool, we normally get things sorted, even Suarez and Coutinho, uh, players that obviously were about to leave. Um, we've managed to tie them down to, to long deals, which obviously protects the, the, the value of them. It hasn't happened with Chan, and, and it was hanging over our heads all summer. I mean, yes, we were focused on Cater, Van Dijk, Oxley, Chamberlain. We had the Coutinho stuff um, going on as well, the transfer request, but luckily we had him tied down to a long contract. But, you know, that, that was kind of the biggest story. But the Chan thing was always worrying me. It was always niggling, eating away at me, and I kind of kept talking about how it needed to be sorted. But it never was, and it never looked like it was going to be. I know a couple of outlets reported that it was going to be sorted. It was looking likely that he would sign. Uh, but the last few months, I mean, once you get to sort of the autumn and he's still not signed, and there's no real signs that, that he will, it started to become obvious. And now it has been, you know, reported by someone reputable that Emre Chan is going to leave. Um, Look, you guys obviously have every right to be furious. It's frustrating. He's he's a very talented player. He's not perfect, but he's very young. He's been at Bayern Munich, Bayer Leverkusen. The likes of Juventus are after him now. I'm sure a lot of big clubs are going to be sniffing around him. He's not going to get a downwards move. He's going to move to an absolute top European club, I'm sure. And I think he'll be even better in another league, to be honest. Um, I think he'd fit right in at Juventus. A bit of a slower league. He, he can impose his pace and his power a bit more over there because here it does. It, it's a lot more physical and... It, Sometimes, like sometimes he just he, he loses his head a bit, and he, he's a bit of a headless chicken. Um, he, there are games where it just completely passes him by. I think he's going to impose himself a lot better in a, probably a slower league. I mean, his passing range is superb. He can score. He can move with the ball at pace once he gets going. He's a bit slow on the turn, um, which again is why I think he might be better in Italy. Um, but it's a massive shame. It's a massive shame. He's an inconsistent player and he's still one that divides opinion. Um, my mates, uh, you know, one of my mates actively actually despises him, but a lot of them absolutely love him. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in between. I like him. Is he in our... Does he start for Liverpool when Keita signs? You know, when you consider Henderson as the captain, Lallana, Coutinho, Keita, Wijnaldum, uh, you probably would want to find a space for him in there, but... This is all just no excuse for what's happened. Um, it's it's obviously a big shame that a compromise could be made. But look, do you want to blame the club completely? I mean, it's obviously been clear that he wanted a release, a release clause entered into the contract, and we didn't do that for Coutinho. We didn't officially do that for Suarez. So, what really can you uh, what really can you say? I mean, it, with Coutinho and Suarez, it is more of a gentleman's agreement that look, we will sell you. I'm surprised that hasn't really happened here. If he was so desperate to go, or if he's eyeing a move to Bayern Munich, surely, it, uh, look, the, the guys that were doing the deal know a lot more than me about this sort of stuff, but you would have hoped that something could have been agreed where, uh, whereby, look, if, if so-and-so come in, or, or if so, such and such happens, or if you give us another 18 months, or if you give us another year or two, we will let you go. If, if your dream move is to go to Juventus, or your dream move is to go to Bayern Munich, if you want to do that in two years, and they bid 50 million, yes, we'll let you go. Uh, but, you know, the, the difference between that and a release clause is, 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 is touch and go. So, look, it's a tricky one. I'm not going to go absolutely mad at the club, because, look, they obviously don't want to lose a, they don't want to lose a player for for free when he's worth 40 million at least. Of course they don't want to do that. But they don't want to insert a release clause because once you start inserting release clause in players' contracts at Liverpool Football Club, then that sets a bad precedent going forward. Of course it does. I mean, we didn't do it for Coutinho. Why should we make the exception for Chan? That's what Dominic King even says in his piece. Um, they didn't want to do it. Coutinho probably wanted one in his deal. And if, and if he had got one, he, he would be a Barcelona player by now. But we didn't put one in his contract, so why should we put one in Emery Chan's? It, it, it. Yes, it would have meant we might have got £40 million for him rather than nothing. But, you know, maybe sometimes the long-term gain uh, is, is the most important thing rather than the short-term thing. And we, and we had to be stubborn in this case. 
I'm not an expert on, on, on the financial side of things, I'm not an expert on the business and how Liverpool Football Club want to run, but they had to stand firm here and be stubborn. And look, we're going to lose an absolutely quality player or a player that has the potential to be sensational, one of Europe's best. We've lost them for free and we will regret that. We will, I'm sure, I'm sure there will come a time where we regret that. Uh, but look, it is what it is. It's, uh, if he doesn't want to be here that much, and you know, Jurgen Klopp is, is, is all in on players that do want to be here. That's why I didn't sign Mario Goetze, because he was owing and owing of whether he wanted to come. He wanted to know whether we were going to be in the Champions League. Um, Klopp wants players that want to be here. He wants, you know, yes, we've kept Coutinho. Um, that might even be against Klopp's will, but FSG was so strong in uh, coming out and saying that he was not going to be sold. I think they understood how, how much uh, anger the fans would have put towards him for that. And there's going to be a backlash for this, I'm sure there will be. And there's, there's every right for you guys to be angry. I'm unhappy, um, but it's like for like, Chan out, cater in next summer. And uh, we're going to have to do a lot of other business. We're going to have to strengthen because one in, one out isn't good enough. We need a stronger squad. Um, we didn't spend enough money this summer nor last summer, the, the net spend, the, the improvement, the, the depth of the squad still isn't quite there. It's probably a bit better this season than it was last season, but still not good enough to be challenging for the title. Uh, and losing a player of Emery Chan's quality isn't going to help anything. Um, we're going to have to digest this over the next few days. Emery Chan will no longer be a Liverpool player, it seems, come next summer when Keita comes in as his natural replacement. Um, and look, Coutinho is probably going to leave next summer as well. So. It's going to be another summer of transition. Is it going to be another season of transition next year? Because I feel like this season's already slipping away. And if we lose players of the calibre of Chan and Coutinho next summer, God knows who else as well. Do I want to be dealing with another transition season next year? I want to win the league now. I want to win it next year at the latest. Uh, but we can't seem to keep hold of our best players. And this is always going to be a problem. Um, has Chan got a deal in place with the Juventus already? I don't know. It's not ideal. It's not ideal. Hasn't quite settled in yet. Guys, leave a comment with your thoughts. I'm sure you're all going to be very angry. I want to hear all about it. I'll reply to all of you, of course, as always. Hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, make sure you follow my other socials too, as they might say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. Drop me a DM on Instagram if you want to talk to me directly about this. I'll always reply to everyone. And I'll see you next time.